Hello guys, welcome back to Codelens, where we venture into the uncharted waters in matter software. If you are new to the channel, feel at home and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Now let's get to the objective of our today's episode where we are going to have a look at how we can be able to dockerize a Spring Boot application. There are two ways in which you can be able to follow this episode. One, if you already have a Spring Boot application, you can still use that. If not, you want to go step by step with the sample that I'm using. So just go ahead, create a very simple Spring Boot application, name it the way you want it. In my case, I created a very simple one with only about three dependencies. That is the Spring Starter Web, Lombok and Actuator. All right. Now, once you have done that, now we are going to create a very basic controller in this case uh, a rest uh, controller so just uh, under controllers i'm just going to create another class i'm just going to name it let me call it employees employees controller all right now with that i'm going to annotate this with at rest controller and then going to annotate this also with a request mapping of so i'm going to set the route path to be employee all right now for this one i'm also going to add another dto called employee all right employee so this is going to have uh let's see if maybe the employee could have a name first name and the last name for simplicity sake so first name and then we have a last name all right maybe age for example age all right now with that i'm going to annotate this with at data all right now with that now i'm going to create uh, a list of employees so i'm just going to come and say private static list employee so i'm just going to call it employee list is equals to new array list all right then i'm just going to create some basic employees all right so i'm just going to add actually i can also do let me just add another constructor that can take these three arguments all right so i'm going to say add new employee so the first name let's use let's say eric let's say k it's for the age let's say 24 all right i'm going to add about uh three more let's call this guy joe let's say let's use bdn for now let's say 56 let's add another one let's say jane let's say that you could also add an a last one let's say eva maybe l for example all right so at least we have a basic uh, list that you can use of course this is not something you want to do in maybe in a real world project but this is just to keep things simple all right now i'm going to create an endpoint which i'm going to call employees so this one we're going to get the list of employees all right where i'm going to return the employee list okay so sorry so this should be a list a list of employee then this is supposed to be a get mapping all right so you can just see path to be that and then now we can definitely say it produces application application json so at least this is our simple rest controller with one endpoint for getting a list of employees now i'm also assuming that you already have coded as i've done or you already have your spring project that you would wish to dockerize all right now let's go to the objective of the episode which is now dockerizing this particular application all right now first things first i'm going to create a new file on the root of our project i'm going to call it docker file all right there it is so this is where we are where we are going now to define how our docker 
file is going to be structured all right so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to use our base image from uh, adopt open jdk all right so adopt should be something like adopt open jdk adopt open jdk could use uh, 11 let's say jre hotspot all right feel free to use whichever base image that you want to use after this i'm going to add an argument which i'm going to call a jar file okay so this jar file is going to be target right so target slash star basically asterisk dot jar all right but if you know your jar name specific you can just use it let's see how in this case mine is going to be so let's do a maven clean package right so there is an error somewhere um let's have a look deleting let me just do here let me see what's going to happen employee service the life cycle i'm going to do a package all right so it's building one moment all right it has built successfully so if you look now under our target folder we are going to see that in our case our jar file is called employee service 001 snapshot so i can just still do this to factor then i rename i'm just going to pick this name and replace it like that for example all right now from that we now need to do a copy we copy our jar file all right we need to copy our jar file to another jar which we are going to call application dot jar right then the other thing that we need to do is we are going to expose our application on port 8080 or basically we're going to expose port 8080 from which we need to do now an entry point for our docker application so i'm just going to come and do this java java then it's supposed to be double quotes see java then i can do jar right and then which is a jar file to be executed in our case is going to be our application dot jar all right so this this is pretty much it as far as defining our docker file is concerned all right so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to try and build this image and see if it's going to be successful all right so i'm going to come again in my terminal i'm going to do a clear then to build this particular image the only thing that we need to do is do a docker build all right the tag name how should we call our image in my case i'm going to call it code lens right code lens employees maybe employee service with a tag let's say a version one all right which is a context is a current context all right basically where our docker file is located so if i hit enter all right so as you can see now our the instructions that we did set in our docker file have been executed successfully all right so we now have our tagged image as code lens employee v1 that was pretty much easy all right and just like that we already have a docker image for our application now there's one thing that i would like to mention let's have a look at the newly created image i'm going to come and see docker images just going to grab and filter by code lens and there it is all right so this is the image that we have just created about 40 seconds ago and this, as you can see it's about 247 mb all right now let us have a look at the layers which are inside this particular image okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a dive all right so i'm going to do dive let me pick this image name right so i'm going to do a dive 
so I'll put that so dive okay I think I've not copied so what I'm going to do dive into that image oh I think you should give it uh, the tag dive our image give it a moment all right now as you can see these are the current layers in our application all right so if we go to the last one you're going to see that our application dot jar is in this this last layer all right and you're going to see that it forms quite a significant part of the image size all right now what you're going to do or basically what you're going to realize is that this is basically a fat jar all right which has its own caveats all right for example you're going to find that a fat jar putting a fat jar into a docker container is basically a waste of storage bandwidth and even time all right so there are ways in which we can be able to optimize this particular image to make it as thin as possible and this is going to definitely decrease even the effective size of the artifacts that we are going to be building so we are going to have a look in the next episode how we can be able to create a thin jar for our application all right so this is it as far as this episode is concerned at least i hope that you are now able to create so basically to dockerize your application at least as far as the footage is concerned i'll see you in the next episode where we are going to have a look at how we can be able to create a thin jar all right so without further much ado i'll see you in the next one have a good one